church, to plant a great church. What's going on? The whole building is shaking. The whole building is shaking. Hold on, I don't you. Goodness. Oh my goodness, we're in the middle of an earthquake? Earthquake, The whole yeah. block is shaking. Yeah. Pieces, the, ch the, well. the top of the church is falling down. The ground is shaking underneath our feet and all of the people are running out in the street. Yeah. As we're standing here, birds are flying. The ground is undulating under my feet. The cross on the top of the church is waving wildly and bricks are falling off of the ceiling, falling off of the roof. People are huddled together here on the street. The ground is still waving. The shaking seems to be slowing down. That was the voice of Melissa Block doing an interview for NPR as the Sichuan earthquake began its destructive course. The Sichuan earthquake began at 2.28 p.m. on May 12th of 2008 and measured a magnitude of 7.9 on the Richter scale, and had a maximum intensity of 11. While the earthquake only lasted two minutes, it caused more than $86 billion in damage. Its epicenter was 80 kilometers or roughly 50 miles northwest of Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan, and the focus of the Sichuan earthquake was 19 kilometers or 12 miles deep, so it is considered a shallow earthquake. Being a shallow earthquake, the Sichuan earthquake could be felt as far away as Beijing and Shanghai being just over 1,000 miles away. As powerful and destructive the Sichuan earthquake was, it is still only the second most powerful earthquake to strike China. The strongest earthquake to hit China was the Shayu earthquake of 1950 with a recorded magnitude of 8.5. The cause of the Sichuan earthquake was the result of a release of great amount of pressure built up between two tectonic plate boundaries. These two plate boundaries are the Eurasian plate and the Indian plate. This plate margin is a reverse fault convergent plate boundary. To explain what a convergent plate boundary is, the definition of a divergent plate boundary needs to be given as well. A divergent plate boundary is an area where a new crust is created by which two plates are continually spreading in the opposite direction of each other caused by a rising magma. A convergent plate boundary is the opposite. Two plates are continually moving toward each other and crust is being destroyed by a process called subduction. Subduction is a process that involves one plate sliding underneath the other. The continual line of contact between the two plates from the plate of subduction is where the earthquakes occur. The Eurasian and Indian fault line have been very seismically active for some time. Aftershocks measuring 6.0 on the Richter scale were still being felt even months after the Sichuan earthquake. Dozens of earthquakes have been recorded in the Sichuan area since the 1930s up to the Sichuan earthquake in 2008. With this said, it is evident that this area is very seismically active and another earthquake of similar magnitude to the Sichuan earthquake is probable in the next 100 years or so. The effects and damages caused by the Sichuan earthquake were prevailing. More than 5 million buildings collapsed and more than 21 million buildings were damaged. As a result of the Sichuan earthquake, rock falls and landslides damaged or destroyed numerous mountain roads and multiple railroads. These landslides dammed several rivers, as a result created 34 barrier lakes, which in turn affected many hundreds of thousands of people downstream. More than 2,000 dams were damaged and more than 53,000 kilometers of roads were damaged. In total, about 1.5 kilometers of surface faulting were seen near Qing Chang. Standing in the wake of devastation And you were waiting on the edge of the unknown And with the cataclysm raining down Insides crying, save me now You were there impossible. 